Alright, so for today's video, we're going to be doing a species review on the Zebra Danio. This is the first species review I've done on the channel, but I'm hoping to do many more in the future. So first off, the Zebra Danios were the first fish I ever had that were not goldfish and beta fish. I, when I got them, I had no idea how to properly care for a fish. Even then, they were totally okay. Now, even though these fish are super hardy, you're always going to want to do as much research as you can. So I'm going to try to help you with some of the care in this video. To start off a tank with these amazing fish, you're going to want to have a tank that is at least 10 gallons. You'll also need a filter. I like to use two sponge filters, or you can use a hang on the back filter, because these fish um, are fast moving and appreciate a current. These fish like a temperature of 65 up to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, in many cases, house in houses, you will not need a heater, but I would recommend a 100 watt Eheim Jaeger heater just in case the tank gets a little too cold. So even though that the, this fish is extremely awesome, and it is probably one of my favorite fish in the whole world, it is also extremely cheap and you can find them almost anywhere. This fish is even used for scientific experiments. These Danios only reach about 2 inches and originate from East India and can be found in many other rivers and streams in Asia. Alright, so as I said before, you're going to want to start out with at least a 10 gallon aquarium. And in a 10 gallon aquarium, you can probably house about 5 of these fish. But bigger is always better. And if you have a tank that's only a little bit bigger than this and only costs a little bit more to set up, like a 20 long, you can have more fish and it would look way cooler with all those really fast moving fish swimming around. It would look awesome. So... A really good Danio to also think about for a 10 gallon aquarium instead of these guys is called the Celestial Pearl Danio. When you get these fish, you're going to make want to make sure that your tank is cycled. You can't just plop these guys into a brand new tank. You're going to make sure that the tank's been running and has been growing beneficial bacteria. Go look up on some other channels on how to properly cycle your aquarium to get some information. So these fish are extremely hardy and tolerate a wide range of pH, all the way from 6.5 to 8. That is insane. So this fish is really great for beginners. So when feeding your zebra daniels, you're going to want to give them a variety of foods. So I like to feed mine flakes and frozen foods such as bloodworms. Now these fish can survive on just flakes, of course, but I like to make sure to vary up the diet to just get the most healthy fish possible. Since my tank that has zebra daniels in it has quite a few fish, I do water changes every single week, and I do them by draining 50% or more of the water and putting new water in and also it's really good to have live plants in the tank because that can also absorb some of the bad stuff in the water these fish are supposed to also be super easy to breed so I've never bred them so I'm not an expert of course I would look up some other YouTube videos on specifically how to breed but I know that you have to keep them at a little bit of a higher temperature and they also are egg scatterers and they can also eat their babies so make sure to do your research before attempting to breed I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a random video idea I sort of thought of. Uh, it's been fun for me to film. I spend a lot more energy into this video than I usually do. But tell me in the comments if you enjoyed. I sure enjoyed it. So I'll see you in the next one.